What's up, everyone? It's Jeff and Brett from Untapped Potential with a special guest star. Smitty, again, is back. I feel like I'm becoming a regular. I'm a regular now, it feels like. You're just one of the bros now. (laughs) I think he's one of the team. (laughs) Yeah, so... Gonna have to change your name soon. (laughs) Today we got a real special episode. Uh, Brett and I are both going to unbox one of the days from the Parallel 49. It's a wonderful time for a beer case. And then Smitty's going to give us an update on the Cascadia. Um, does it have a name? I think it's just called the Advent Calendar, right? Yeah, I don't think it has a name. Um, so he's going to give us an update on how that has been through the first four or five days. And then we will review, we'll each review one of our beers. And then we're going to get into uh, stocking stuff for episodes. So we're going to each give our top five best winter snowy beers to put in a stocking. Awesome. Well, Brett, do you want to quickly uh, get get us started? Let's let's unbox. Um, All right, sweet. Go open up the fourth there? beer here. Let's see what we got. I am hoping for a nice light beer for my stomach, and it is a hot heather and honey ale. Interesting. The spoiler alert. Yeah, I already opened that and tried it. It's unique. It's unique. Is it bomb? Yeah. This we one's going to chair. Zoe's Animal Rescue. Love to see it. Love that. Beautiful logo. Well, Brett Pori, I just want to give a shout out. This beer I picked up in Port Alberni this weekend. It's called the Persnickety Salted Caramel Alt Beer by uh, Twin City Brewing and Love Shack Libations. One of the best beers I've had all year. You buy me a pack of that, like I asked? You have to, I saved you one. This is so good. You have to buy these at the brewery and they're 5%. It's an alt beer, which is like the German, what, 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 where is alt beer from, Brett? Is it Dusseldorf? I think it's Dusseldorf. Anyways, this beer is malty, caramelly. If you are in Port Alberni, you have to get this. It's can, can you get them at uh, Love Shack as well? You can't, but Adam, you oh. and I are going to go there this weekend so we can ask. Yeah. yeah. All right, Brett, let us know what you think. I don't know how to describe it, man. <laughs> it's it's kind of good. It's, it's not bad. Well, like, the I face you're making says otherwise. <laughs> it reminds me of the beer like they would drink in Game of Thrones, like the mead, pretty the honey mead. Hair. It's pretty sweet though, isn't it's it? It's very isn't... sweet, which I guess is the honey. Like it has a really uh, strong honey aftertaste. Yeah, I don't know. I don't hate it. Well, let me think it. about it before you review it. All right. So day five. The hardest thing about these parallel 49 packs is getting the beer up. How, how come you're only on day five so far? We're, we're a little bit Oh, uh, uh, It's a sour. It's a guava sour. Oh. <laughs> the most overrated fruit, guava. I'd probably be okay with that. I can say that you like guava like, send that my way. Jeff, if you don't want, oh, he's opening it. I was going to say, Jeff, if you don't want it, I'll just take off your hands at work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a try for the, try it for the boys. All right, well, I'm pouring this. What do you got, Smitty? Okay, so you guys have Parallel 49. I went with the Cascadia Advent Calendar this year. Uh, so Cascadia is one of the um, pretty popular, um, one of the better places for craft. Um, we beer. love Cascadia. Um, liquor stores around um and so the pack is just like parallel 49 24 days 24 beers and um they're all vancouver island beers so it's gonna be all the breweries from around vancouver island and tall cans just like those ones so i'll do a quick rundown of the first seven days i've opened so far because unlike you i'm caught up to all my days um lone star schwartz beer was day one. I wanted to try similar, that. Similar to the liquid tuxedo up in the uh, new traditions. And then day two, we had the pole plant tropical uh, hazy lager from Herald Street. And I'd never actually had Herald Street beers before. 
Um, it kind of tasted like almost tasted like the Comexico pale ale. It didn't really taste really? like a lager. Okay, yeah, that. it was like that similar. So it didn't have, it didn't taste like a lager at all, in my opinion. But anyways, not too bad. And then this one's going to be your favorite, Jeff. Liquid State Imperial Sour. <laughs> yeah, how was that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> blueberries and vanilla. Nine and a half percent. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty potent sour. I wasn't what, a huge fan. What that taste like? Was it kind of like a Belgian? um very very heavy um not as like sour tasting i guess as most sours um but i mean you could still tell it was but it was i i wasn't a fan it was pretty it was like a full can of that would have been tough i i shared it with nicole because we split in the case but um i probably wouldn't order a pint of it to be honest I don't even know if, if you went to Bones, I don't think they'd even sell it in pints. They, usually for those heavy beers, they do smaller glasses anyway. So, right. Have you heard of Bones? So Bones is out of Victoria. No. So I, I guess they rent out yeah. some space at Twa Dogs and do their brewing yeah. at Twa Dogs. Interesting. Where do they sell? Yeah, it's, I guess Cascadia. Well, yeah, I guess so. This is the first time I'd heard them as well. That's cool. Uh, day four... <laughs> Was a sweater weather win- sweater sweater weather Ooh, winter ale. Good song. That's that a good one. Good. That was a good one from Bad Dog Brewing. Um, I'm trying to think of what it would be like. Um, it's like like cinnamony, nutmeggy. Yeah. Like, it's good. Have you been yeah. to Bad Dog, Adam? I haven't been to Bad it's Dog. Literally, like 20 minutes into the woods in Souk. Yeah, I mean, I, I heard of it, but I've never been to it's it. It's a before. cool spot, but it is a drive. It's a yeah. drive. It's commute. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, day five was Jet Fuel Ace. I'm sure you guys have had that one before. It's a pretty, pre- it's an IPA. It's pretty hoppy IPA. Not my favorite, but I don't, I don't love the super, super hoppy IPAs. Um, and then my favorite one so far. Uh, for what are we on day six was Hoyn oh. Appleton's finest British ale. That's a good one. And those those it's those so good. Those bitters are or the the extra bitters are my kind of favorite type of beer anyway right now. This is actually the first time I've had this beer. Um, super super impressed. You want and a another hack. winner? A What's that? Quick hack: you can buy those at BCL for like two ninety nine. <laughs> really? Yeah, if you're looking for might, just like one, might cheap, have to stock one cheap. <laughs> Keep one. Yeah. And today, another one of your favorite chefs, Twa Dogs, uh, oh. Salish Cyclone, uh, Tropical Sour. Oh. I have like a bunch of different fruits on here. Um, Five Alive. I'm trying That's to find where the fruits combo. are. Twa Dogs and Passion Fruit, Lime, Pineapple, <laughs> Mango. Yeah. All, all the best. Twa Dogs. Twa dogs, sorry if you're watching this, but yeah, it's not it's not the the best beer. <laughs> Brett, what oh do you feel about twa sure. dogs? You right. like twa dogs? How is it, Jeff? It's it's not horrible. It's better than the Philip one. Okay. It kind of just tastes like juice. Like it's not offensive. Pretty How's light. yours? Um, I don't know. I, I still can't get a read on it. Adam? Yeah. How's yours? Um, I didn't like for a say sour. It's your standard sour. Like it, I, I enjoy them. I enjoy yeah. them mostly in the summer, but um, like it, I, I definitely stay away from the sours in the winter. Um, but yeah, not offensive to me at all. I'm, I'm going to score mine. Um, a D- DK Metcalf's hair is what I'm going to score mine. DK Metcalf's hair. <laughs> a little bit out there, but pretty cool. So is it a, a 14 this out of like, 100 for you? <laughs> it, this is kind of a, this beer is a little bit out there, but it's actually, actually pretty tasty. You're not hating it, eh? What about you, Brett? What do you score hmm. to me? John Snow's sword? <laughs> or someone oh, for the night. Man, like... ah. Mark Andre Fleury. <laughs> it's such a weird beer, dude. Like I can't pick up on anything other than the honey. It almost tastes like musky. Then uh, score it Frank Kaminsky for the Wisconsin Honey Badgers. 
<laughs> or Terry and Matthew. The honey badger. One more set. I'll, uh, what, what's I'll, this? Is there any B? Is there any hockey players with the nickname? The I'm gonna go Columbus Blue Jackets. It's not a honey oh. bee. It's not a yellow jacket. It's a blue jacket. And I'm gonna go a Jared Bull. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> he was a grinded as heart and soul player. Stuck with him for I think eight years. He's now a coach for the team. I think this is what this is. It's it's weird. What about you, Smitty? What what are you who are you um you guys couldn't think of a number eleven yesterday for your video, so I'll give it a Clay Thompson number eleven. Oh, he should be back soon. Yeah. Great, great shout out. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh so Smitty, pretty impressed with the with the pack so far. Yeah, I mean there's nothing in here that's I mean, it's kind of what I expected. Um, yeah. A lot of them I will, would have had. Like, I, there's a few here that I have had already. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, there's, let's see, Souk or Bones Brewing I've never had. Harold Street Brewing I've never had. Um, Twa Dogs I've probably had, but I can't really remember. Maybe that's not a good, uh, yeah, a they're, good they're thing they're for Twa Dogs, or I can't seen. remember. And Bad Dog, I've never had either. So, um, exploring a bit more of Vancouver or Vancouver Island, that, that's cool. nice. So, Southern Vancouver Island, those are all pretty. Yeah, southern. yeah. The only one, the only one that's uh, up north is Ace, I guess. And then Brett, uh, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, Brett, how are you liking yours? The pack the so pack far. So far, the pack's been great. I mean, it's a bunch of it's what I expect from having Calendar. A bunch of weird beers that I'm never yeah. ever gonna have in any <laughs> other setting. That's, That's great. Like in comparison yeah. to Phillips so far, I'm enjoying this one more because you're opening and you're sitting here being like, what the hell is uh, a am I drinking? Like, yeah. That's kind of what Perfect. I like. So I think next mm -hmm. year I might go parallel 49 just because it's something that I'll only get to have once. Exactly. Whereas exactly. all these you can find. So yeah. And that's exactly why I did. I love Cascadia, but I was so worried that it was all going to be beers I've had before. Mm -hmm. Um, but then again, like I've only had a couple of the ones you've opened so far. So mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, let's transition. So we're going to do a little Christmas special here. Uh, quick quiz. What's your favorite Christmas song? Jingle Ball uh, Rock. Jingle Ball Rock is a good one. Jingle Ball Rock. Um, Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. A good one. I like the St. Stephen's Day Murders by the Chieftains. That's probably yeah, my favorite. Of course, going to be something, something weird. Shout out Chieftains. <laughs> 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 um so we're gonna we're gonna now kind of go to our power ranking style, and we're gonna recommend all you ladies, males, anyone out there who's looking for a special gift for their significant other or their parent, brother, child. Um, so we're each gonna recommend five great beers that would fit just really well in the stocking that anyone is gonna open on Christmas morning and be like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get hammered. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Before we start, what do you guys look for in like a winter beer? Like we've talked about how we don't like these summer or these sour or these lagers really in the winter. What what are you looking for? Dark, um, like winter kind of flavors, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla. Yeah, me too. That's chocolate, that sort of thing. Ooh, coffee. Coffee, yeah. Um, yeah, like dark in color for sure. I mean, I can second that. Um, the other piece is kind of like some stronger, some barrel aged. Mm -hmm. some yeah. Belgian hints. Like I definitely in the winter, I aim towards stout sporters and kind of Belgian ales. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something that would warm you up. So uh, Smitty, start us up. What do you have for number five for your uh, winter ale stocking stuff for beer list? Uh, so this is one I usually get in a bomber. Um, and it's Bridge Brewing's The Grinch. Oh, yeah. Uh, out of uh, the North Shore. Uh, oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. You can, I mean, you can probably find it at BCLs even, I would think. Isn't it like 9%? Um, I don't think it's that high. Um, it's a bit higher, I think. But I don't think it's up. I don't think it's 9%. Oh. My, the next one on my list is, is upwards of 9%. But. Nice. 
Uh, Brett, what do you got for number five? Um, my number five is a tradition that we get almost every single year. Has a has a place in my heart. I'm sure it'll be on your list too for the same reason. The Hoyne gratitude. Oh yeah, it That's... is a nine percent. It kicks you in the ass. Yeah, <laughs> I remember the first time I drank it. It was a struggle, and <laughs> now it's like this beer is just unreal. It is, yeah, yeah, it's, a good it's one. really good. So number five for me, uh, I got the the Whistler Chestnut Ale. I just I just love those. I, you can drink so many of them; they're just so tasty, cheap yeah. too. Just a really yeah. nice beer. A little bit of sweetness, um, and it's like super chestnutty. Yeah, what? It's probably like a brown ale or something. Hey, it, I, think it? Is, I think it's yeah, a nut yeah, brown. I think it's labeled a brown ale. Yeah, Adam, what do you got for number four? uh brett you might have had this at parallel 49 on the weekend but the tukes of hazard i will say it's like 9.2 percent um so it's, it's a white ipa i think and but super easy drinking and it will it will catch up with you real quick yeah, yeah i done <laughs> a flight yeah. was it good yeah i've seen those at bcl in the single cans pretty cheap too like 225 or something like that yeah, it's, it's not expensive you usually get them in like a four pack or something Brett, what do you got for number four? Uh, number four, I'm taking an airplane going across um, into Europe for Chimay Blue. Oh, yeah. So tell us about, about Chimay Blue. Uh, so it's a beer that I had a fair bit when I was living in the Netherlands. It's one of the Belgian Trappist beers, a.k.a. the monks make it. I don't know how old it is. I'm sure it's not actually that old, but they probably say it was like brewed in 1640. Made that number up just so we're clear. But it's a dark Belgian <laughs> ale. Ooh. Um, has a very caramel taste. I haven't had it in a couple of years, but if it showed up my stock, I'd be very excited. Can, can you, you um, can you get it anywhere? You can get them. Some BC liquor stores will import them. I've seen them once or twice. Usually it's the Chimay Red that you see, but I have seen the blue in BC. If anyone in the in the comments, like if anyone's watching this and knows where to get it, can you throw that in the comments? Because I would love to try that. So my my one is just not as my one's pretty plain on number four but this is probably my my most every year i drink these the most out of any beer and it's the granville island winter ale uh, yeah. you know once like october comes i just crave them and they're just so good <laughs> they just never get old um they're just a great beer so nice and vanilla dark not too heavy so, either not too heavy yeah the, adam and i talk about this all the time but man granville island if you're watching or you know anyone at granville island please bring back the bottles <laughs> it tastes so much better so out of the bottles better yeah and I, I know most places are going to just cans now yeah which, i mean it'd be yeah, probably doing it for cost reasons um but then there's nothing better than an, a nice cold bottle of beer yeah oh yeah beer. adam what do you got for number three uh, you've already put it on your list, but it is the Whistler Chestnut Ale. Oh, so good. Between, if I'm getting a six-pack this time of year, it's it's that or the Winter Ale, usually. I know, yeah. It's a good debate. It'd be almost worth a whole episode, but which, which, what's better? Like, I ranked Granville Island better, but I'm not sure it's better. Um, I If I'm going to have more than one or two, definitely the Winter Ale. I think the Chestnut Ale is a little bit too sweet. Yeah, um, to have a, a few of them, uh, but if I'm just having one beer, it's just such a different tasting beer um, that I'll probably go to that first. Yeah, it's so good. It's so unique, like just mm -hmm. weird, but it's good. Uh, Brett, what do you got for number three? Uh, number three, I'm gonna be a little bit uh, trendy here. I'm gonna stay in Belgium. Uh, oh, cool. th this is my favorite beer period I had overseas. My buddy Butcher put me on this. Shout out Butch. We need to get him on it. Um, I've had this in BC a couple times. There's actually a restaurant in Vancouver that has it on tap. Can't remember the restaurant's name though, so I apologize for that. The Delirium Nocturnum. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, that's a really Absolutely good one. Absolutely stunningly good beer. Like it's, yeah. I put it in my top three beers of all time. What yeah. type of beer is it? Um, again, it's also a Belgian ale, but it's it's like an almost they probably classify as a Belgian ale, but it's basically mm -hmm. so. Like, it's really, uh, if I remember correctly, it has, like, that really dark malty taste with kind of like mm -hmm. caramel and, um, like, a nutty. It's so good, man. Um, yeah. But, yeah, you that one I have seen in stores in Victoria often. Like, you can definitely get your hands yeah. on it. Like, even seen, yeah. like, Delirium packs that have the main Brent one yeah. as well. 
Also, just when you look at it, it's like that white uh, bottle with the blue label. It's so good. Mandy, yeah. did we buy that for the advent calendar we made Regan? Yeah, so we got him the Delirium Tremens, which I, which is I think you can get more so, and I really like the Tremens. Um, that would have been on like my honorable mention list, probably either the Tremens or the Nocturnum. But you can find them at most liquor stores in the international section. They're the main export from the of the Belgian Trappist beers, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Mm. All right. I, sounds like we might need an episode just on the Belgian Belgian beers. Okay. Number three for me, um, I have the Hoin Gratitude Winter Warmer. So the one Brett talked about. Um, you can't have more than one, but <laughs> the one is just like it's like drinking fine scotch, fine whiskey. Mm-hmm. It's so good, so strong nice and malty caramelly and then it has that like 10 percent alcohol that just kicks you in the ass and is it the best displayed beer out there with yeah. the wrapping paper tied up if you were gonna get any beer on this list i think that would be the most like aesthetically pleasing beer like to put in a stocking it's a great one adam have you had that one i don't think i have i think i've seen it and it's just yeah, Nicole, like i look at it this. and <laughs> I'll make sure she watches this episode. It's a good thing. Um, <laughs> like it's it's literally like opening a Christmas present. Yeah, I, I've seen. I'm I'm, sh- I'm sure I've seen it at the liquor stores, and I and I look at it, and it just looks like I don't know. It looks like you're buying a nice bottle of wine or something. Yeah, it's so good. All right, what do you got for number two, Smitty? Uh, so we talked about it already. Uh, it's Granville Island Winter Ale. Yeah. I mean, like you say, it's something that I look forward to every year and every uh, year. Yeah. yeah. And they're always in, there's ones in my fridge right now. And it's, I always have them in there. So that's so good. Yeah. Brett, do you like the Granville Island Winter Ales? Yeah, it's unreal. The exact same thing you guys talk about. November hits, you're cracking them. I actually yeah, left kind of like the Winter Ales and um, a couple of the ones from Whistler because I had a feeling you guys would be talking about them. I kind of want mm-hmm. to experiment a little bit there. Um, so my number two is one of the best beers I've ever had. I've only had it in a mix pack, which is arguably the best mix pack ever made. Uh, shout out my buddy Alan for introducing it to me. Uh, Left Hand Brewings White Russian Nitro Stout. Ooh. Ooh. It is oh. out of this world good. Is it's, it? Do, I mean, is it nitro and vanilla it and chocolate in a nitro beer? Like, what more can you really ask for? Like, I don't need to describe it any more than that. Do they have, is it nitro in the can? Yeah. Okay. So I can even imagine nitro. it would be like on top because nitro. We all know nitro yeah. in a can just isn't quite as good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like that uh, that Deacon Bros beer from Bat Country. If yeah. you're at their tap house, it's nitro in a can. It's it's uh, carbon. Yeah, it's just not quite the same. But even in that can, it's like this beer is good. Mm-hmm. When I was 18 and living in Alberta, I thought like drinking White Russians at the bar was so cool. I just crushed white Russians and then I was like what am I doing I'm drinking fucking milk at the bar like, <laughs> me and my buddy went through that exact same phase <laughs> and you just got the curl the stomach it was like sweet <laughs> yeah all right number two for myself I got the Love Shack Libation Winter Wonder Ale um amazing nano brewery out of uh Qualcomm Beach Qualcomm Bay um they only make a limited mat- batch of these you can only get them for a couple t- couple weeks in december but they are just like the perfect christmas present uh every year i grab i grab at least a couple for my family uh, i think smitty and i are going there on saturday so if dad or mom or terry or oh shit brett you're right here i'm watching spoiler alert it's <laughs> it's just like the perfect mix of uh what would you say brett like nutmeg and it's so good. It's what went like the pinnacle of a winter ale. Yeah. And if, if you want to watch a really funny video, go to his Instagram, Love Shack Libations. And uh, he does a video where he kind of sings the uh, the Winter Wonder Ale song. <laughs> it's hilarious. So Research he's a great guy. Um, he follows our Instagram. Shout out Love Shack. Yeah. One of the best breweries in Canada. Yeah. And I've only been to the tasting room once with you, Jeff. And it's such a, like, it's hilarious how small it is. Yeah. But the owner's at every table talking to you. He seems oh, yeah. to know free, everybody yeah. there. Saying, hey, Here, try this. Yeah, try this thing that's coming out next week. Like, it's it's a really good experience that's to so go. Cool. I need to get yeah. there at some point. 
yeah yeah it's, it's kind of like the holy grail for like us like real craft nerds like it's such mm-hmm. a cool little spot yeah, All right. it's tough so to get in though so yeah we're we're in the gold medal territory here so uh, adam what's your number one beer you would recommend for i am going back to whistler for the dunkel nice <laughs> It's like drinking a so, Terry's chocolate orange. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. It would yeah, be it would be my first honorable mention. Yeah. It's uh really annoyingly hard to find sometimes. Especially um, this year. Yeah. I actually actually haven't found it any yet. There's a bunch of um, IPCL. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. Sh- sh- ships them over to me then. Honestly, um, I Jeff's up. But, I think Parkville uh, has some Adam. Parkville North. Oh yeah. I'll look again. I'll go run to Lucky's one. Maybe we'll, uh, I'll hop at uh, Cascadia on the weekend, but yeah, um, I don't know. Like I probably wouldn't have more than, well, they only come in bombers, but yeah. uh, it's not like a winter hour. I can have two, three plus of them because they're kind of sweet, but it's just, it's the most Christmas tasting beer. I think it's so good. It, it tastes like, it tastes like Christmas morning when you open your Terry's chocolate orange. Yeah, like it's, like it's like <laughs> drinking a present. Brett, have you ever had more than one of those? Um, oh, I had four of them on tap, and I projectiled <laughs> outside of a bar and have not oh, drank it. Was south, that in but... Whistler? Pardon? Was that in Whistler? No, that was at the Churchill in uh, Victoria. They had it on tap. Really? I've never yeah. seen it on tap. No, neither have I. And I was like drank one perfectly fine yeah. drank two is like this is not good for the third one and off we went <laughs> yeah oh, crazy. That's that's really good. like exactly what you said is exactly what it is mm-hmm. so good um my my buddy paul biscuit shout out biscuits he loves it so much i think he bought like three cases one year wow. <laughs> three cases of bombers Jeez. all right what's your number one um my number one is going to my favorite brewery period uh the modern times black house stout oh yeah mm, haven't had that one hard yeah, to find fun. these days i think it's because of the pandemic they're maybe not shipping to canada but you used to be able to find it like cascadia's liquor pluses would carry them they'd be on tap at the drake it's just like the pinnacle of a coffee stout like picture every coffee stout you've had and just the coffee's that much cleaner and it's not overwhelming with coffee taste like most coffee stouts are um yeah it's like really smooth and chocolatey it's where is it like, from um they're from san diego. san diego okay yeah they really clean they have a great too. amarillo yeah all their beers are so good so good so expensive though yeah but whenever i saw like a single of it i usually just grab it because it's, mm-hmm. it's my favorite beer you gotta pay for greatness right right exactly yeah. you're paying for the import pay someone's greatness. driving that thing from san diego to victoria bc yeah. <laughs> my uh my number one speaking of paying for greatness is right here so this is the graveyard of the pacific imperial red ale by souk oceanside brewing this is literally a masterpiece in a bottle um <laughs> it is i think it's 10 percent uh no so it's only eight percent but only. it's a very strong red ale they make only during kind of the christmas period uh, it's got this beautiful wax, which is actually so hard to take off. Uh, one of these will ring you after taxes about 15 bucks. But uh, shout out to my my lovely wife, Erin, for buying me this. I wouldn't have bought it for myself just because of how expensive it is. But it is so good. Brett, have you had this one? Yeah, shout out to the house cleaner who uh, cleaned my hotel and is taking that home to their hopefully to enjoy with a friend. <laughs> oh, no. I brought oh, that no. for the bachelor party to share around and left it in the fridge. Oh, yeah. brutal! It's really you, good. It's really you and your red uh, ale, you and your it's, red ale so, eh? it's just so clean. Yeah, it's it's a good one. Nicole, hunt it down. Cascadia and the noose has it for sure. <laughs> you love your red ales. I think that was your number. Was it Gladstone red ale? Was uh, your number one for in Courtney? Yeah, thing? yeah. Red ales. Yeah. I like amber ales the best, but you just don't make them anymore. Like no mm-hmm. one really makes them. So red ales are a little more common. So, yeah. Um, anything to add, boys? Before before we take off, any honorable mentions? Any ones you want to try? Um, I think I'm gonna do a trip uh, to Cascadia. Maybe when we go to go golfing on on Saturday. But 
there, there's a lot I've seen and just not bothered trying because there's so many. Yeah. Um, but the Longwood has a winter beer, and I cannot na- remember the name of it right now. But is it uh, the Longwood? Kingstow? Maybe the Longwood Brew Pub in Nanaimo. Yeah. Um, has one that I usually usually drink quite a bit in the winter as well. Nice. How- so for me, while I was doing a little bit of research trying to remember which beers I want to throw on this list, I stumbled across the fact that Delirium has a Christmas beer. Oh, oh. I don't think you're finding that, but if anyone knows where it is, I, yeah, I pay two digits. To try What's it, it called? Um, It's just called a Delirium Christmas beer. <laughs> two digits. <laughs> <laughs> That's hey bro, I'll, I'll give you I'll give you 10, 10 bucks if you mind. I'm bribing anyone. I mean, if I see it in stores, I'm paying ten to twenty bucks for it. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I was expecting you to drop like three digits or something. I'm not paying hundred bucks for delirium. Um, when I was doing a little research, and I'm glad Adam brought up the Santa Sack. Uh, the mainland has a lot of good winter beers that I either tried once. Like, uh, is it Bridge Brewing who does the Grinch ale? Yeah. Um, and then Santa Sack, which I, did, did yeah. you had that on your list, right? Santa Sack. I, I didn't have it on my list. I've had no. the Santa Sack before. The Grinch that's was number imp- five. For yeah, me, that's an Imperial Red as well. Yeah. Um, Nelson Brewing Company, I think, has a good organic winter ale, which is pretty good. Last yeah. question before we go, um, Adam, would you put? Were you thinking about putting the Bad Dog winter ale on the list or not? Not. Uh, I was I thought about it, yeah. But then I thought about the other ones. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> this would uh, this would be like like it was a good one, um, but they just didn't trump anything on my list. Awesome. Um, like it's I'm trying to think it's similar to the Grinch I think, yeah. Um, maybe a, a little bit more bite to it. Um, I remember it being thick and not like yeah. carbonated enough. N- Nicole didn't like it. Yeah. Um, but I like those kind of like nutmeggy, cinnamony kind of um, more potent flavors, maybe I, you could say. Awesome. Well, I, I think that wraps it up for today. Um, for those of that of you that subscribe or watch, let us know what uh, what power ranking you want us to do next, or we could we could all do a taste test of a certain style of beer. Um, any idea yeah, like that? Just, what's that? Uh, get someone to go pick out a beer for us without us yeah. having any clue what it is and then crack that and that's our I like that Yeah, just anything yeah it's just like something that like something we, I don't know if you put a little bit of ruling on it be like something that you don't usually drink yeah so if someone wants to recommend three just beers, getting a sour yeah <laughs> three <laughs> beers that, that, off uh, to pick one out you're fine <laughs> yeah <laughs> Awesome. And yeah, if you could like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. Um, Toss it up on the Instagram, fine, but maybe, because that gets a bit more um, more views, I think, your Instagram. Yeah. I think just we're some recommendations. Smitty, Smitty's techie, so we might get Smitty to do some highlights of each video. Well, did, that'd be did sad. Am I so getting that... paid for this now? Yeah. <laughs> I'll buy you beer one day. Victoria. We're gonna get that free yeah. beer one day. <laughs> awesome. Well, happy shopping to all you uh you Christmas shoppers out there and yeah, hopefully everyone tries some of our recommendations. We're uh we'll put a list in the comments um what we all suggested as well. Peace.